Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of AQS Quilting Stars. I am so happy to be coming from Paducah, Kentucky, Quilt City, USA, to share a wonderful talk with my friend, the amazing quilt maker, Marilyn Badger. Marilyn, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. Well, hi Liz, it's so good to talk to you. I miss all my AQS friends. Oh my goodness, and we miss you. Usually I go to at least a couple of these shows a year and I see you, but um, this is good. I'm glad to be with you today. Well, thank you. And we're so glad to have you with us. And yes, we miss seeing you in person at the shows and getting to see your quilts. And I have to say so often, I'm the one who gets to pin those ribbons to your quilts and I miss doing that this year. Yeah, thank you. Hopefully we'll be able to do that again soon. Yes, I know I all of so. my fellow competitors are feeling the same way. Oh, absolutely. And when you get used to seeing all those quilts in person, you really miss the eye candy. Let me tell you what. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> so I wanted to welcome you to St. George. I've, I've been living here for almost 20 years, which I can't believe. But uh, and my husband and my late husband and I built this house six years ago. And there's a few little precious items I have in the living room that I wanted to point out if we can get pictures of them. I, I don't hang a lot of quilts in my house, but uh, I have some small ones that are pretty dear to me. And you can see right behind me is a print of a quilt by Hollis Chetelaine, and it's called The Golden Girl. And when I saw the original in Houston, I knew I had to have that to hang in my living room. She just is perfect, and I admire Hollis's work so much. Oh, yes, we do too. And, and Hollis has taught for us a couple of times, and uh, so it's great to see that quilt hanging up in your house. This, is, this one is hanging just as you come in the front door to the left, and it's a little miniature nature scape by Noriko Endo. And I met Noriko for the first time in 2003 when I made my first trip to Japan to teach long arm quilting. And she and I have just been the best of friends ever since. And she's another one, I'm sure, who is really missing your shows because she would fly over twice a year to do both Paducah shows with me, and we'd stay there in the house and have such a good time. So. I'm missing her a lot too. Yes, absolutely. I recognize that immediately as one of Noriko's pieces and she has taught for us before and I, I've seen her at the shows, usually the two of you together. So we're missing her as well. Yeah, we're big bats. And so, and then in, on into the living room is uh, and my partner uh, of, of a lot of years, Claudia Clark Myers. She did a little stitching for me to hang there. It's, uh, it's all quilted and then painted to accent the quilting on a piece of hand dye fabric. And she kind of really came up with that idea many, many years ago, uh, and kind of broke the ground on that. And uh, it, it just went perfectly in here as well. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, I can, do I can definitely tell that that's one of Claudia's. Yeah, yeah. How lucky are you to have all these amazing quilt makers and to have the, their pieces in your house? Oh, I'm, I'm, I am. I'm really lucky. Lucky to live here. Just everything. Everything's been wonderful. And then I wanted to just show you a little piece over here that I have hanging in another corner. Um, I took a class from, from uh, Pam Holland, another favorite teacher of mine at Asilomar, and we did stitching. We stitched portraits, and this was a portrait of my late husband when we first met. And I took her class and made it in a week there at Asilomar. And it was a great, great experience. Oh, yeah, it's Marilyn. I recognize that one because we had an exhibit of your quilts here in Paducah. And I remember that piece of your husband. And it's just it's such a beautiful tribute and a lovely, lovely piece. Yeah, thank you. So now we're going to move around and go. I want to show you the view I have outside, which is it kind of kind of keeps me out of my quilting room sometimes because it's so spectacular. Um, so this is my patio and I look out over the, I live on a golf course community. I used to do a lot of golfing and I'm on the 13th fairway. Oh and my gosh. You can see the mountains in the distance and in the winter time they have snow on them. And in the summer I get to see the lightning storms and it's just a spectacular place to be. Marilyn, you are making me commit a sin and that is thou shalt not covet because this is such an incredible and, view. And you can see I have a lot of little ball lights in the pool. They light up at night. We're getting ready. My friend Linda, who's doing this, this video for me, we're getting ready for a girl party Saturday. So we've all been locked down for so long, we're going crazy. And we're going to get out here and dance and 
have a good time Saturday night. <laughs> oh, that sounds like so much fun. And let me tell you what, girl parties are the best parties. So I think that's going to yes. be great. Good for you. Yeah, they are. So now come on in and I'll show you, show you my quilt room and what's going on in there. So this is the kitchen and the little dining area. I have a rounded wall here that's out, faces out on my um, a courtyard. Oh, how it lovely. It has a fountain and a fireplace and whatever, so you can be out there and drink coffee in the winter and really enjoy it. So you must be sort of an outdoorsy person. Do you prefer to be able to sit outside whenever it's nice? And do you have nice weather a lot? I do. Oh, yeah. Every morning it's nice. And I even get out there and light the fire pit in the winter mornings and have my coffee. So, oh, that's yeah, nice. I watch the birds and the hummingbirds and all like critters and... That's my, that's my meditation time, I guess. <laughs> oh, that sounds so nice. Good for you. And I like to work in the yard. I like to plant things and watch them grow and bloom and have pretty flowers. Oh, so Marilyn, show us uh, this first room. Okay, this is, the, this is my sewing room. And uh, it's where I do all the piecing and the applique and the design work. This is my design wall right here. Uh, and so right now I have a quilt, a show quilt up there since it can't go anywhere. It's resting on my design wall because I just took uh, a new quilt top down. And that one is Midnight in Morocco, which I see is on the cover of the AQS calendar for 2021. Yes, it is because I recognize that quilt immediately and what a yeah. stunning piece. Um, let me ask you something. A... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that's a that's something I've been doing this year is is different in our partnership with Claudia is she is really enjoying just designing quilts and mm -hmm. I'm enjoying bringing those quilts to life. So she's been sending me designs. I've been putting them together, quilting them and, and embellishing them. And I, so far, I think I've done about five of those in the last year and a half. So <laughs> Midnight in Morocco is one of them. Oh my goodness. Well, that sounds, I mean, that's a wonderful partnership and you all have been working together for quite some time. How long have you and Claudia been working together? For almost 20 years. 20 so. years. So you should just know each other without even having to speak words now. You should just know what each other wants yeah, and now each other pretty works. Pretty much. Pretty much. And, it, and you know, it's kind of evolved too. It's like, she's always done her quilts uh, before we got together. She was an award-winning quilter. And then mm -hmm. I started doing the quilting and now I, I love to do the piecing and it's, I don't know, it's therapy to me. I think I enjoy that more than the quilting now. Wow. So I'm, I'm happy to, to bring those quilts that she's designing and really doesn't have time or, or want to put them together herself. I'm happy to make them and and get them out there because she's a spectacular designer. Wow, and well, and that's that works out so great. And this is a good thing to touch on to people uh, who are watching at home, because Marilyn, you are known as the long arm pioneer. Quilting on a long arm <laughs> is is yeah. like your thing. And now you're saying you're just enjoying the piecing and the other doing the other things that bring you joy. So that's a reminder to everybody out there, myself included, if just because you've done something a lot and you're great at it, doesn't mean you can't try something else and be great at that too. Or if you're not That's great right. at the other thing, you don't have to do it. Just try something new. So it's, right. it's good to know that even you, Miss Longarm, are, are enjoying the <laughs> other process even more. Well, it changes good, you know? I'm not mm -hmm. gonna ever sit still, I don't think, too long till I have to, but uh, I'm enjoying the change. I, and I even, even more than the piecing and applique, I love doing the things to the quilt that I do after that's all done. When it's quilted, I start adding things. And um, I, I wanted to just show you one little example of that on a quilt that I've just finished. It's gonna be a show quilt, so, but I'm gonna show you a picture of it that I took before the quilting and before the embellishing. Oh, I can. I can see that. Um, okay. Can I get a little bit closer? So it is a, it's a beautiful design by Claudia, but I want to show you how much it changed after I quilted it and added embroidery and did some things to it. So now this is the quilt. I will open it up. What I've done is I've added a lot of hand embroidery. And I added these monarch butterflies because I, you know, I just kind of like to get things a little more complex than they start out. So those are all hand embroidered butterflies that are then hand applique to the quilt uh, after it's done. 
Oh my goodness, it's so lovely. And you're right, it's totally transformed. And, and I tell you, you know, with the crystals and the butterflies, it just really makes it into something show-stopping. We always get so excited to see what you and Claudia have worked on when a new quilt comes to a show. And I, I have to be honest, Terry, who uh, unboxes the quilt, will say, hey, everybody, come here. Marilyn Badger's got a new quilt. Come look at it. And we, we're always really excited to see it. So thanks for showing us that preview. And hopefully that one can get out to some shows before too long. Yeah, I hope so. Um, and so then this is one that's, that's I'm just finishing. This one, it had some problems when I put it up on the wall after I had it all together that just glared at me and it was my, my fault. I didn't, I did not get things lined up. So I've been ripping back in and taking it apart and fixing it. So it's just about there. And um, I haven't really named this one. The butterfly one is gonna be called Madam Butterfly, so. Oh, how <laughs> fitting, I love that. Well, and it's good to know that you also sometimes have to rip a quilt apart because I've had to do it quite a few times. <laughs> Don't we all? But this one has been fun because uh, at your fall Paducah show, I purchased a new Janome sewing machine and it's, it's just does beautiful satin stitching. So I've been wanting to do a lot of that in the applique. So this whole quilt, all of the applique is, is satin stitched on my Janome um, and I'm loving that machine. And I don't have stock in Janome, I don't get them. I bought that machine, I just, I just <laughs> had some fun with them. <laughs> Well, that's with great. It. It's, it's good to talk about what you love, and I'm glad that's working out for you. Yeah, so then on the wall back that where you're looking now is that's Marie's treasure. You probably recognize that quilt that's been to your shows. Um, and yes, that's the I, first thing I noticed when we walked into this room is I love that quilt. And it, uh, if you haven't seen it out per, in person, um, it just absolutely glows. It's a beautiful piece. And you can see on that one how much stuff I added to it in terms of trim and and uh, crochet uh, dollies that I took apart and put back together. And uh, that's just fun, fun stuff. That's what I enjoy doing the most, I think. Well, and that's so creative and such a fun part of it. Um, and, and you do, do you crochet the doilies and everything by hand? No, actually I, I buy a lot of them from Wendy Richardson. Oh, she okay. does hand dyed pieces and she's a vendor at your, a lot of your shows. Yes, uh, I know the, the, the center dolly in, in Marie's treasure is one of her hand dyed vintage dollies. So, yeah, and they're, then they're I buy a lot of little pieces. ones and cut them up and spread them around in different areas. So, um, but her, her hand dyes are very unique and they make a big difference. Absolutely. That's a good shout out to Wendy Richardson. Those are beautiful. She's a good friend. Oh, and then you see my stash over here to the left. That's all where all the, that's all I have left. It's getting down. So, but I need to make more quilts, get it, get it worked down some more, right? <laughs> yep. Make some more quilts, buy some more fabric. And now you're, we're not having the shows where you can buy all the fabric. Luckily you can, yeah. uh, you can do some of that online. I know um, this might be a quick little segue. I'll let people know that um, AQS at shop aqs.com um, our aqs members get 20 percent off of all the fabric that you might need to refill your stash or books tools notions i quilt classes all of that and we are running a special if you're not an aqs member you can join to um, receive all those benefits plus all kinds of exclusive member only content patterns you know just about anything you would want to get your hands on and that membership is twenty dollars for a year plus you're going to get a free gift um, with that. And so it's going to end up paying for itself. Yeah, well, that's, that's a great deal. So we'll never run out of fabric. Yeah, we never can. run out. <laughs> so the, these drawers have different things that I need for my work in here. This is for cutting rulers, rotary cutters. And you can see in this one, it's just full of threads, bottom line and cottons and Different. Oh, this one is so full organized. Full <laughs> Mine is variegated like threads. <laughs> well, you know, during this pandemic, there was a lot of time to organize. So uh, this house should be organized. These are like more threads, razzle dazzles. Those are all scissors. Uh, so I've got everything I need to create in this big cabinet, and I can lay my quilt out and and embellish with a lot of light and it's just a great, great place to work. 
Absolutely. It looks like a great workspace and full of light. We were talking about how your house is full of light, which is exactly how I prefer my space to be too, especially yes. in the winter when it's here in Kentucky, you know, we've been getting down to 20s and regularly in the winter time. So I, I have to have my shades open all the time. Oh yeah, it's gotta be, gotta be. And another project I did this summer is I have a, I have a student that I am introducing to quilting and, um, we got together and I think she's here. She, I think she just kind of came out, came here from school. Callie, are you in here? I need you. <laughs> so this is my, this is my friend Callie. Say hi. Hi Liz. Uh, she is um, learning to sew. She did her first stitches this year, this summer. She made a quilt and I've got a picture of her uh, at the sewing machine. Let me show you. Hi, Callie. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> so that's her taking her first stitches. You see that? Oh, my goodness. Well, congratulations. <laughs> that's a big feat. We had to put a book underneath the uh, foot pedal so she could reach it. But <laughs> let me tell you, in four hours, she had that quilt made. So oh, my goodness. You yes. hold it? <laughs> You're such feathers. a pro. And I mean, her work ethic was, it reminded me of how I do. She was like possessed. <laughs> uh, and I did not sew a stitch on that. I, she sewed, I pressed and pinned. Wow. And in the meantime, I had one of those balance balls in here and she'd get up from the machine, go bounce on the ball. And then when I'm pressed and ready for her to sew again, she'd sit back down and sew. So that was kind of a lesson to me. Us quilters, we need to get up and bounce around on the bouncing ball before we sit down for more hours at it. You know? That's absolutely <laughs> right. Get up and bounce around and play around a little bit. Well, what a great job you did, Kelly. That looks amazing. And congrats on learning how to sew and how to make a quilt. You are way ahead of me because I only started making quilts like a year ago. <laughs> so great job. <laughs> and you have a wonderful, so, wonderful teacher. Yeah, we have we have fun. So now I want to take you into the long arm room. And I'd love to see it. Okay, so you can see um, I have all the uh, ribbons that were, were really, really important uh, over the years. And, um, and then on the wall back here is Christmas in St. Andrews. I'm sure you recognize that quilt too. Yes, I absolutely do. And all the ribbons look beautiful next to it, I have to say. <laughs> well, I like those, see all those pink ones over there from AQS. And then of course, you have to see the chair. You see the chair uh, over here. Yes, I recognize that best of show chair. How special <laughs> to have that in there. And then there's another one over on this side. We'll stand <laughs> around there. But um, so in here, I've got, uh, you know, just photos and, covers and you can see a lot of it's AQS. There's a calendar there and uh, Quilt Week Paducah sign and um, just just my favorite show. Uh, well, and we're so glad to have you as a partner with us and as a friend of ours and so happy to see all those AQS ribbons and calendars on your wall too. <laughs> and then on the long arm machine, I have Callie's quilt. So we are going to, uh, start learning how to long arm next. And uh, the nice thing about this machine, the way I have it set up is it's a little bit high for her now, but I can press a button and let it down. And then she, she will be able to reach the handles and do her thing. So we're gonna do a little practicing first, but, but uh, we've put a nice flannel backing back here. So it'll be nice and soft. And we're gonna quilt uh, these little animals. I've got, I've got elephants in the corner and lions and tigers and they're going to go down the border here and, um, and then just kind of do some free handing in the middle of it. Oh, because she fun. already knows her next project. She wants to make a quilt for her brother. So. Oh, well, that's very generous. A lot of times <laughs> we don't like doing things for our brothers. I've got one too, so I understand yeah. that. <laughs> And then I have another quilt top setting here, ready to go on it when it's when it's uh, this one's done. So you can see I've got plenty of projects, and um, even though there's no shows, I'm you still you can't quit making quilts. So 
Uh, it's just your therapy, I think. That's absolutely right. And I'm so glad that you're able to find some joy and peace in making all these quilts. And as I always expected, maybe you don't sleep because those are a lot of projects <laughs> that you're working on. Well, and then I have a job outside of my shop. I have a manufacturing. My third car garage is a manufacturing uh, company that my husband started. Sure. So I, I make... I make these bases for the long arms and the micro drives and the spool holders. And uh, I usually ship a pallet full of stuff every month. And I have to say that I don't think this pandemic has hurt long arm sales because there's a lot of people buying machines to work at home, I guess. Yeah, I think a lot of people are stuck at home. What can I do? Make a quilt. So you might as well do yeah. it. And where can yeah. people go um, to your website to take a look at some of that stuff? You know, I don't have a, a personal website for it. I just, I basically just supply APQS with all the accessories for their machines. And that keeps me busy enough. I'm sure it <laughs> so, does. So any APQS dealer or APQS would know about the, the accessories. Well, that's good to know. Oh, well, Marilyn, this has been so exciting to look around and see your space and to meet you, Callie. I, I hope that you are excited to get your hands on that machine because I certainly would be. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you wanted to show us before we go? Well, I, I guess, uh, you know, that's that pretty much covers it. Uh, well, it's been such a joy to talk to you and see all of your space and to see all those quilts I recognize. I miss being able to touch them with my hands with gloves, but I miss being able to see everything up close. And I miss getting to talk with you and all the other quilt makers out there. If you're sitting at home watching this, remember now's the time to just get inspired to make something that you have fun doing, make something that feels therapeutic, as Marilyn said you know, um, whatever gets you excited, even if it's not what you always did, or even if it's not something that you're particularly known for, just try whatever, try whatever makes you happy. Um, and if you like this video, be sure to click like and share using the buttons below so everyone else can see it. And Marilyn, until I get to see you again in person, it's been a joy and I hope you take care and stay well. Thank you. It was such a nice time visiting with you, Liz. Oh, you too. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs>